Hi everyone and welcome to my Veda April 9th. I'm outside here on the balcony just outside our bedroom. Our bedroom is right in there and I just I don't know today for me has been the most bizarre day emotionally ever. I don't know what's wrong with me. I I went to bed last night. Well, actually, I had my mom here, as you all know, because you, if you watched yesterday. And uh, on that note, I want to say thank you so, so, so much for the comments that you made about my mom. They touched me to my core, and more importantly, I read them to her, and she was just tickled, I can't even tell you. When I read some of your comments, especially those of you who have lost your mothers, it really, really, really made me appreciate her and be grateful for her. Not that I'm not, but you know, when your mom is still here, sometimes you just don't. Reading it from you guys and hearing it back of how you wished you'd had that, done that, or how much you miss your mom, it was just so, so touching. So anyway, she went home and then she called me about a half an hour after she'd been home. I'm a little cold. It's sunny. But it's still, look. Let me see. My beautiful patio. Yeah. It'll take a while for this to melt. You can see those little footprints. Those are Percy's. That's where he goes. But anyway, she had called me and she sounded really sad or upset. And I said, what's the matter? And she says, you know, my dear friend, Joanna, and I said, yes. And Joanna isn't that old. She's like maybe five years older than me. And she, I don't know if you guys can remember, not this anniversary video, but the one where we did the games between Papa and Nana, and we had that track meet thing, and my mom was carrying the water on a tennis racket, and her friend, that was her friend. I will put the link down below to that video because it just she's just she was such a wonderful person she died last night to breast cancer and you know we were just talking about breast cancer and it was just so sad she's just such a wonderful wonderful person so um, so after that I, I don't know I, I couldn't sleep no I, I don't I don't know if it was that and then I found out that my aunt died last Sunday, and she lives in California, and I haven't seen her for years. Very, very dear aunt, but I, we weren't physically that close because of where she lives. And I just was kind of assessing my reaction to people dying. And I know that I, I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm trying to word it. I'm a strong person. I'm not afraid of death. I don't want anyone to be here suffering for my selfishness so they can be here so they're not gone, just so that I don't have to be sad. I think that's very, very selfish of me. I believe that they're going to a better place, all of that. So I wouldn't, unless it was someone really, really close to me, physically break down like I did when my dad died lost your arm practically. It's really windy out here. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, but anyway, I, I don't know if it was that, but I was feeling so anxious, like all night long, like this anxiety feelings of, of anxiousness. And, and I had so much to do today. Like I had to go to, to the eye doctor, the retina specialist, and they do all these tests to your eyes. So then your eyes are kind of out of it for, you know, the day. And I also have to teach prenatal classes tonight to a really sweet mommy. And so I got up at 8 o'clock this morning and I phoned the retina specialist and I said, you know what, I'm not coming today. I'm not coming today. I don't feel well. And I, it's not physical. It's emotional. I just didn't feel like going. So I'll go. And they said, no problem. You can come next Tuesday. So I took that off my plate. And then I thought to myself, you know what, you need to really halt in your steps, not be frozen from anxiety, but halt yourself 
and pay attention to what it is your body or your mind or your spirit is trying to tell you. You just need to stop. So I was at first feeling a bit frozen, like just sitting in a chair like a blob, not wanting to do anything, not wanting to get dressed, just because of this anxiety feeling. It wasn't like an anxiety attack, but just this feeling. I don't, I can't even tell you if it's caused from something physical or if it's emotional, but it doesn't matter when you're in it. It doesn't matter what the cause of it is. It's just, you have to cope with it. So I thought, okay, let's rewind and you do everything that you've always known you can do that's within your power to do and just do it. So I thought, I sat there for a minute and I thought, okay, what is it that my body needs? And I ran a tub and put this really nice spa stuff in the tub, turned off all TVs, radios, uh, any other noise other than nature. Got in the tub, I literally submerged my head back into the tub and just laid there and just listened to the peace because I was trying to clear my mind of whatever, I don't know what's going on. So then I started meditating and, um, you know, just breathing in. It was just kind of like breathing in love and all of the words that you guys had said yesterday, just breathing them in and exhaling this yucky feeling that I was having. So I just did that for about three minutes and I could physically feel myself filling up with this warm love feeling. And so I felt like I needed to get outside. I needed to be closer to nature. I just, even though I can't go in my backyard, but I thought I've got my deck, I've got my balcony and I put on my moccasins. These were, can you, oh, I guess I would have to turn the camera around. I'm still crazy. Just a minute. <laughs> I put on my moccasins. These were my aunties. They were, it's my mom's sister. And I look the most like her. But whenever I want to feel kind of grounded to the earth, and I can't go barefoot, I put these on. So I've been wearing them for years and years and years. So I put my moccasins on, put on this pretty wrap for my daughter-in-law, Shannon, and I just came out here. And before I came out, I thought, okay, you need to feed your mind, feed your body, feed your soul. So I had made a big pot of barley soup yesterday and oh my ever glad I did so I just had a bowl of soup I sat down and I watched a video and I was watching the first video I watched was Trudy Craig and she was driving to work and says she said that she has to drive 60 miles to and from work every day and I'm like you are an awesome woman but she was talking about the Veda videos and who she loves to watch and she mentioned me and her words were so kind and so sweet and Trudy, I can't even tell you, they touched me to the core, especially today. I was like, you have no idea, Trudy. Like, I think God or spirit put, puts you in the right place at the right time to hear what you need to hear if you're open to it and to do what you need to do. And her words filled me up with such... Um, I don't even know it's like life just such a it's like refueling you and it gives you purpose and you realize yeah I'm making a difference to even one person in the world so wherever that anxiety feeling is it's gone now so I don't know I think that for me it's really really important to listen to what my body needs it doesn't matter the cause of whatever it is if it's um, physical, emotional, whatever, just I know that my body needed to be listened to. My spirit was like it was tapping on you, like Monica, 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 listen, listen, listen. You've got to listen. I, I still don't know what the message was, but I do know after meditating, I feel 100% better. I took a nice bath and it was funny because Richard kind of can sense when I'm like that because I get very very quiet so um, he was home this afternoon and he was painting a painting in his studio and then I was having a bath and you know put my makeup on I when I feel like this and I know I have to do things in the evening I always put my makeup on 
early or rather than later. I get ready earlier rather than later so that you don't have that extra stress of getting ready. So I was doing that and he knocked on the bedroom door and he never does that unless he knows that I am fragile, I guess. Like he understands that I'm fragile and I need, just need, I don't know, just your personal space. Not that he's bugging me, but you know what I mean? So yeah, so I just, I asked for what I needed. I said, you know what, I really need a hug. Got a hug, had my soup, watched my video. So I'm here making my VEDA video to you guys. So I don't know why I'm rambling and going on and on, but somebody else might be having a day like this that just, for no reason, you just feel like, I don't know, so one of your tanks is empty. Like we as people, we're always juggling, uh, you know how they say we always try to juggle everything, our physical and our emotional, but we always, some, not all of us, but a lot of us forget to nurture the spiritual side of you. And I really believe my spiritual tank was just a little on low. And when I heard about that death of Joanna, it sort of brought it to the forefront that, like I just, didn't know what to do with that you know I just didn't feel strong enough to just handle it I didn't know where to put it or what to do with it and uh, she was such a beautiful woman oh you guys you just can't even imagine when I went to Vegas with my mom and my sisters um, she had just gone through a round of chemo and so we were all sitting at the table and you know that sweet sweet Joanna brought all of these party favors and it wasn't at her house but she decorated she used to love to party she's one of those people that loves to do theme parties and she had decorated the table and had party favors for everyone because that brought her joy so uh yeah I just want to sort of dedicate my day to sweet Joanna she's a wonderful woman so I hope you guys are having a beautiful day I'm squinting because the sun is shining in my face I am not supposed to be in the sun, as you know, but you know what? I don't care. Today, I need the sun. Today, I need the sun on my face. I need to feel the warmth of the sun. I feel closer to God if I'm standing outside, breathing in fresh air, and having the sun beat on my face. So, if I get a little rash, oh, whatever. I'll probably get one anyway, right? So, I hope you guys are having a good day, and... Um, I'm just going to go over here and I was going to sit and drink my tea, but there's nowhere to sit. It's so drippy and wet and yucky, but nevertheless beautiful. So here's my cup of tea. I toast you all. I toast Joanna. I thank you again for all your beautiful comments and a special thank you to Trudy because you really really impacted my day today and for that I thank you very much. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!